Hello again. Well, today is the start of the second biodiversity economy in Daba, hosted by the Department of Environmental Affairs. The aim is to bring together stakeholders in the biodiversity economy, which includes the hunting, game farm, bioprospecting, natural products, and biotrade industries. Minister of Environmental Affairs, Edna Molewa, joins us from our Durban studios to tell us more. Minister, it's always a pleasure to have you with us. Good morning and welcome. Thank you very much, Ayanda. Good morning to your viewers and thanks for having me. Now, when we hear the word biodiversity, one thinks of a variety of species and plants, animals, the ecosystem, etc. How does that correlate with the economy? Uh, Ayanda, actually, to be frank and just for South Africans to know that we cannot have an economy without biodiversity. Any part of economy, because whatever people use mine and whatever, all those are part of the ecosystems and part of the economy. So it's actually biodiversity is the other side of a coin, of the same coin with the economy. So what we are doing right now is to actually ensure that within areas where there has never been utilization of our natural resources to benefit our economy, we now focus there. Just let me also pick up the area, for instance, of bioprospecting. Minister Naledi Pando and ourselves in the DF uh, family continue with our institutions, our academic institutions, to research what can be used in our medicinal plants family species, not only, by the way, in the medicinal plants, also in animals, things like crocodile fat and so forth, to actually manufacture uh, medicine, medicine in the space of pharmaceuticals. So we are opening up a new area of pharmaceuticals, but in the space where people in South Africa, indigenous people have always had mm. knowledge, indigenous mm. knowledge. In some instances, we're moving completely into a new area. And therefore, this research will help us to put more medicines on the shelves. And as we do that, then the communities in South Africa, where, which actually had this knowledge, do then benefit. It's what we call access to benefits and benefits sharing, which is part of a trade agreement that we have had at the world level, a protocol called Nagoya Protocol, so that the countries, other countries of the world, do not just move into South Africa and find an indigenous community, harvest the plants, the medicinal plant, mm. and then take it out of country. So we have had to sign this agreement at an international level. We are members of that body as South Africa so that our communities can grow and benefit. We're looking forward out of this conference here, which we are holding a consolidation finalization of this strategy, which will actually take us into the next step where we support our communities financially, resource-wise, skills-wise, for them to become new industrialists in this mm. area. The second area is that of the wildlife management. You know people in South Africa, the previously disadvantaged, have never had an opportunity to become owners of our wildlife, mm. commercial farmers. So we're actually transitioning faster our economy into that space, but without actually over-harvesting, managing and growing this part of the economy for people who have never been part of the, this economy in the, in the past. So it's that field and that space which is actually fairly new in the other area, but also uh, quite in existence, has been in existence in the wildlife management, mm -hmm. but was never actually utilized by our people. Mm. Minister, correct me if I'm wrong, but I do understand that unlike some other sectors in the economy, uh, the biodiversity economy has shown consistent annual growth. I think we're sitting at around 6%. To what can we attribute this figure? Well, in fact, uh, indeed, there is a 6% growth, remember, there has not been activities in this field. And that's the reason why I'm saying it's a new field. So we would like to see a contribution to the GDP quite enormously uh, growing. It's, we're now sitting on 6%. We really would like to grow much faster and more than far more than 6%. And I think it's about 12%, if I'm not wrong, the figure that we're actually targeting in this short space of time. By the way, we are mm -hmm. continuing with this program up to 2030. It's a 14-year strategy that we are launching up to 2030 because our national development plan goes up to 2030. So it coincides and links nicely to the national development plan. It's part of implementation 
of our national development plan. By the way, remember that says we will utilize our natural resources in a sustainable manner. So yes, indeed, we see enormous growth potential, which we are now in a much more coordinated manner. Mm -hmm. We'll be working with our communities to actually uh, empower them in a much more better way for mm -hmm. them to benefit. By the way, as I'm speaking about pharmaceuticals, it's not only the bio trade and so forth, all those known companies that we expect to get into this field. Our, as I did say that we work with Minister uh, Pando, CSIR is working very hard through science and technology. There's innovation continuing. Mm -hmm. When they get to produce products, those then can be picked up by anybody in South Africa who has not been a pharmaceutical in the pharmaceutical space and then work with Minister Pando to grow their own space and establish an entrepreneur, I mean, entrepreneurs and enterprises mm -hmm. in that space and they can then become exporters. So in the, the sky is the limit there. In the field. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I, I, just perhaps in closing, my apologies for interrupting you there, Minister. Uh, you touched on this in one of your, 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 your answers a little bit earlier, the issue of over-harvesting. So I want to know how do we balance exploiting um, the whole value chain of this whole industry and making sure that we glean as much as we possibly can as far as the economic benefits are concerned without things like over-harvesting, without illegal uh, hunting, without jeopardizing this beautiful uh, country that we call home. We started two years ago to sway our natural resource utilization and the environment space into sustainable utilization. No longer just protectionist uh, only, but utilization in a sustainable manner. That then means, Ayanda, that we have to ensure that at all times, any species that we identify as in the space of bioprospecting, we monitor that space. We, when we give a permit, like we would be giving people permits today, mm -hmm. some will be getting some, an amount of about two, over two million rand communities that didn't even have anything who owns this indigenous knowledge when we give the traders this space of harvesting we also give them the amount that they can actually harvest we continue to monitor so that there's no uh, over harvesting mm. species that have not yet started being harvested we do what we call studies of uh, findings detrimental findings mm. so that we can then check whether there's any detrimental impact on the species itself. If it continues that way, we stop mm. a bit and then we over harvest. There are those yeah. that we actually, as I speak, can actually replicate and grow, regrow and expand on that particular species. Mm -hmm. Singaparile, which is Devil's Claw, is one of those in the Northern Cape, Northwest uh, area and going into Botswana. So it's already been uh, pla replanted and planted yeah. for ensuring that there's further growth elsewhere. We don't rely only on that which we found mm. or, uh, uh, growing in South Africa. So plans are in place to make sure that there is a balance. Thank you Indeed. so much, Minister Edna Mulewa from the Department of Environmental Affairs. I can tell she's extremely passionate about the subject. Whenever we engage on matters uh, around the environment, she doesn't even uh, need a piece of paper in front of her or a script. She can just take it and run with that conversation. But thank you so much for that uh, update. Of course, uh, that, uh, um, that biodiversity economy in Daba is in day two as we speak. Let's leave it there. At least for now, quick.